Ah, the normal ability developer. Now that you can produce image crystals, the true power of image is available to you. You can now attune yourself to the crystals, unlocking otherwise latent abilities, allowing you to harness great power. With the ability developer, you can perform the initial unlock of abilities. Okay. Yeah, and that's... So I need, I need to make that ability developer. Okay. It's a bit of a jumbled mess of stuff. Portal developer? Okay. Yeah, that's uh, nice. Fortunately, most of this stuff I've already built before. Okay. Okay. And I imagine this thing will hook up to the wireless system. Ooh. That's actually pretty cool looking. Hmm. Okay, so maybe maybe I need to Hmm. So why aren't you linking up to the... Oh, okay. There you go, powering up. Sync rate is, um, good. Okay. User's ability category is invalid. Booting aborted. Type learn to acquire new category. Learn. It's, it's simulating. D what the heck? I have a skill tree, I guess? Uh, brain core, skill not learned. Um, learn? Oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll learn. I must reach level three first, okay? Am I... Oh, okay, I, I learned Directed Shock. Um, okay, so now I, I need to level up, I guess. Somehow. Okay, so I, I learned Directed Shock. Seize the counterforce when punched into object and redirect it onto the object itself, making the punch more... So... So I... I counterattack? Apply a powerful shock on the ground to direct it forward, which breaks the ground and launches enemies into the air. So like a... Okay. Quest book. Are you going to explain this shit? Mm-hmm. Okay. Leveling up the ones you already have by using them. To use your obtained abilities, press N, changeable in the settings panel of the data terminal. To assign the abilities a slot, then press V to activate your abilities, enabling extra HUD to show how to use each one. Okay. Okay. N. Directed shock, ground shock. Um, okay. V. Uh, okay. 
It's not something I can really use in my base. Pick an ability induction factor. Um, I like the purple. Teleporter. Okay, that's... In order to relight... Um... I am very confused. I am just going to sit and... I don't know. Ugh. I decided that after all I would try out this image fuser. So yeah, it's it's the same setup as the metal farmer. Apparently all these machines require hoppers in order to be automated. But it also requires a third thing, this black image fluid. And for that we have ourselves a new golem. Oh, he's an energetic little fellow. Excuse me, hiccups. <clears throat> Yes, this is a golem with a golem core of U's. He's one of the very few golems with an actual AI. You tell him what items you want to pick up. Um, he's bound to this chest, and I told him to use on this fluid tank, meaning he will take out of this chest and use on this tank. What he is using are these little image phase liquid units, which I think I'm just going to block off the rest of that chest. Well, no, I need a I need a good build up of it. But yeah, those image phase liquid units hold a bucket's worth of image phase liquid, which is what's in that tank. And they, they they're going to require these constraint metal plates. So it's a good thing that I automated the constraint metal. And for some reason, the sound bugged out, which is fine by me. But yes, I just have an interface here, keeping stocked, importing into the chest. Golem will take it out, put it into the tank. It'll be piped into the image fuser. So what the image fuser does is if I take a base, this low purity crystal, I get this mid purity. And if I take a mid purity, I will get high purity. And it, it makes the same noise as the metal former, but with like a cool metal noise in the background of it. Anyway, yeah, you see it's constantly filling up with the liquid. And the golem here, now that he has a job to do, he will be running back and forth trying to keep that tank full. And uh, yes, the image phase unit... Um, the, the empty one will disappear when you put it into the tank. And I don't think it's supposed to do that. If you empty out the image phase units by hand into the image fuser, then you will get the empty canister back. But unfortunately, there is no side of the image fuser where you can just pipe them in with a hopper or anything like that. So I had to do it with the golem here. And yeah... So it's a bit wasteful, but hey, it's just automated in the background. It'll keep on going and going and going, and I can get all these high purity crystals and such like, just as long as I only use it every once in a while, you know, so that the metal former might eventually be freed up instead of making constraint metal constantly. But yeah. So, my mind has recovered from its frenzy. Let's make this app installer thing here. This one I read up on about a little bit. It's just kind of, it, it allows you mobile tracking of your, of your stats. So, yeah, I don't have any of those. Need a compass, and I think it was a data chip. And that third thing looked like a brainwave processor. No, it 
was an information processor. Yes, you hear the mechanism machines kicking on because I spent some alloy just now. All is working as it should. But yes, if I install this, now I can see my skill tree out in the field. And you notice that I've actually gained a little bit of experience points for this. That's because I ran around trying these skills out. Let me show you how they work out in the field. Let's just flip the clock. Take off vanity's emptiness. Here's a couple monsters. So, this one is kind of a megaton punch. It's just, it's very short range. And you notice that they have a pretty effect, pretty, yeah, it, the cooldown is, is not a joke. And this one, if only it weren't so unpredictable. Yeah, see? I mean, it's cool and all, but I have so much more effective things I could be doing. And I guess I have that energy bar up on top. I, I am not within range of my power system right now, so that's not electricity. It's something else. But yeah, I gain a little bit of XP each time I use a skill. Ooh. And that also gives me XP overall for my class. And when I level up enough, I can eventually get more skills. And also, I guess when a skill itself levels up, it might become more useful. So this is kind of grind-tastic. Yeah, see how long it's taking just to kill this one witch? Screw it. Yeah. Oh yeah, and in case you were wondering, I did eventually increase the size of that buildcraft quarry. The one that was drilling for bees. And I think it's actually done. And it intersected with, uh, with a water feature, so um, we have a big-ass pool. That's nice. That squid seems to be enjoying himself. Anyway, I'm, I, I think... Okay, so I read up a little bit more on it, and apparently there are three different... There, there are a couple of different classes that you can be. And when you just type that learn command into the into the development terminal, you get assigned one completely randomly. But you can use those ability induction factors in order to rewrite your class. So you're not stuck in that forever. Although those ability induction factors cannot be crafted, they can only be found as dungeon loot. Huh. I've not been nearby. Maybe maybe this finalized design of the Jimmy project finally works when chunk loaded. Anyway, let's get back to our mechanical area. I love when I'm when I'm walking like and I can see just the power network and stuff like that. All the all that layer of stuff. That's really cool. It kind of reminds me of the hollow base view from Fortress Craft Evolved. Except it's not intentional. I kind of wish it was. If I could do that. Anyway. Let's take a look in the book. I need the portable developer. 
that thing just allows you to level up in the field. But, um, okay, that, that uh, sync ratio thing that I briefly saw on this thing. That, oh yeah, and see, like, maybe, maybe in post I'll put, like, a side-by-side -side of this XP here. And uh, you'll see, like, how much progress I made just doing all that. And a little bit on here, too. Game, you are lagging. Oh, yeah, and while I'm distracted, you um, you probably noticed the, the bees have, um, yeah... At one time or another, one of the bees got bred with a trait that makes them spread flowers, and uh, I think all my jungle bees might have it. So that's nice. But yes, that, that sync ratio thing. That sync ratio thing. Sorry, my brain farted. Um, you need a certain sync ratio in order to unlock certain skills. So basically... You, you need a certain level of developer to reach the highest echelons. And the portable developer is actually the lowest tier one. I don't know why they're giving it to you second. Oh, that is a lot of stuff to do. Oh boy. Okay, maybe I should have given that chest a more stringent limit. Or its own dedicated metal former. But yeah, just for now. And actually, let's... There. And that's that crafting order all cancelled. And that's the portable developer. Oop. Yeah, this thing I just need to link it up to my power network. No. Okay, so how do I bind this to the power network? This machine area is getting kind of cramped. Okay. So I guess it... it can't wirelessly connect. It has to just be charged from this. That's kind of lame. Not that I think I'm going to be using this thing, but... Yeah. Okay, well, that's probably something I wouldn't make if I didn't have a quest for it. What the heck are these things? Okay, that one just installed. Oh!
I couldn't install them until I had the media player. These are these are music. Are they good music? They look like they look like they're animu. No, that's probably licensed shit. I shouldn't play that. I I I will tell you between cuts if they're any good or if they are indeed very animu. And next, I need the final tier of developer thing. This this thing is uh, not only able to give you every skill, but I think you need it in order to change your class, which I might want to do, because I, I think the class that I got, the, um, the Vector Manipulator, that's a, that's a class with lots of things that allow you freedom of movement. The, the one that I think I would want is the Electro Whatever, that gives you the most offensive options. Like, it, it gives you... It gives you the ability to accelerate things, so you are basically a living railgun. Anyway. So it needs this high purity image, resonant crystal, improved wireless image node. That's all so far doable. Yeah, now I need to wait on that metal converter. Anytime I want to do something. I'll just order like, I don't know, a hundred of these just so I have them in the in the tank. And now that's... These things are what I want. There we go. The improved. Actually... I imagine that this thing might be like a range extender for the... Well, no, the matrix would be the thing that determines the range of the... I have no idea what these things do, okay? Ugh. Oh yeah, and I need to properly hide this... And I need to make recipes for it. So that goes to that. And that goes to that. And that, I think, might be all that okay so yeah is there a list of all recipes for this thing doesn't look like there is sometimes it's kind of hidden yeah but i think that purifying those crystals is all that the image fuser does what do you know it all works and I'm just going to take this thing. And there we go. Put this just right back on down there. Oh, it's all fancy like. Link it into the network. Okay. So that's. Oh, yeah, and see, 100% sync rate. Um. I'm still not sure which of these do which. I think that I got one of each from Dungeon Loot anyway, so... Meltdowner. Meltdowner looks like it's kind of a lame utility class. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, see, I have one of each. Electromaster, that's the one that I want. Well, good thing that uh, 
that I do indeed have one. And that looks like that's all the image quests. But let's see here. I think what I need to do is I need to take one of these high voltage magnetic coils and I need to take the ability induction factor that I want and I use it. Ability level must be at least eight and an induction factor oh, it must be at least three. It's kind of hard to see with that line. Um, I can't really read it. Uh... <sighs> okay. So if I wanted to get to the class that I wanted, I would have to grind my way up to level three, and you saw how long that would take. Well, I don't think I'm going to do that then. So today ended up just kind of being a fun little aside, exploring at least the very basics of this mod. Mostly it was just crafting all of these stupid little recipes, and making that metal farmer work overtime for me. So, next time. Next time, next time, next time. What do we do next time? We could start a millionaire. We could finish... We could, we could start the path of finishing the rest of Enhances. That fusion reactor is going to be a thing. Eh, I've done a couple... Bees are kind of tech, so I've done tech for a couple of episodes. So next time on Regrowth, let's go back to witchery. Let's do some of this circle magic stuff. I'll see you then.